Hi, we are ADH Space Systems from Krakow, Poland. Our team consists of 11 members from a wide range of engineering and scientific backgrounds, including robotics, mechanical, electrical and software engineering, and geology. Today we want to present to you the project that we have been working on for the past two and a half years, Martian Rover Kalma. The rover suspension is a simplified rocker buggy design made of aluminum alloys and steel. It has been endowed with dampers to reduce vibrations and allow for smoother traversal. Each of the four wheels can be independently steered, which allows us to control the rover very precisely and even turn in place. The main drive motors are hidden inside the wheels, which protects them from damage when traversing rough terrain. We make extensive use of 3D printing technology. Most notably, the wheels are printed from elastic material, which provides them, along with the honeycomb structure, with properties perfect for desert terrain. The manipulator has 5 DOF structure with two most loaded joints driven by electric actuators. Several different grippers have been prepared to better handle a wide range of tasks. Precise inverse kinematics algorithms have been implemented for more intuitive control by operator. The mechanical design of the rover is highly modular, which allows us to quickly remove many components such as the manipulators and chassis for repairs and modification. The entire electronic system is highly modular, consisting of many independent controllers. Each module is based on a custom-made PCB and uses an STM32 microcontroller. Communication between modules is realized via CANVAS, a proven and reliable solution used widely in automotive industry. This reliability is further improved by the backup RS-405 bus, which provides redundant communication with the most crucial modules such as arm control and motor control boards. The master module, which is responsible for managing data traffic on the CAN bus, is connected to the control station via 433 MHz telemetry link. The main vision link is implemented using a Wi-Fi bridge, providing the base station with view from several IP cameras. For the sake of redundancy, a simple analog 5.8 GHz link is used to transmit one of available camera views as a backup for the Wi-Fi link. The rover is powered by four independent lithium polymer batteries with a total capacity of 16 Ah. Each of them is fitted with a dedicated protection circuit to prevent deep discharge. Development of autonomous navigation system takes time. That's why we created the simulation which provides us with sensory data and allowed us to test the software while the rover's hardware was still in its early development stages. Using onboard computers, NVIDIA Jetson Takes One, Takes Two and LiDAR, we have implemented a robust evolutionary pathfinding algorithm, which allows us to navigate through difficult terrain. Onboard GPUs also powered the Z-Sterovision camera, used for visual odometry. Extended Canon filter then merges this information with the rover's absolute position, received from the GPS module. Base station software is critical for both communication and control of the rover. Each of application's functionalities was tailored to suit the operator's needs and to allow them to control the rover in the most intuitive and efficient way. The rover's onboard laboratory is designed to accommodate up to six samples of soil. The samples are placed and sealed in secure containers through which double distilled water is pumped. The solution is then analyzed with the use of multifunctional strip test that measures pH value and nitrates and proteins presence. To support live development, pH should be slightly acidic or alkaline. Presence of both nitrates and proteins is the ultimate proof that the life was present in the vicinity of the something area. And the whole measurement takes 60 seconds. Soil moisture and temperature are measured with the use of an electronic sensor placed in a soil collector. All of our rover subsystems were thoroughly tested to ensure robustness and reliability. After confirming that all modules are operational, the rover has undergone a series of system tests to warrant our readiness for tough desert conditions awaiting us in Utah. None of this would be possible without the hard work and dedication of our team members, as well as support from our university, Ministry of Higher Education and private sponsors. We hope that this project will help us create more curious and inspired engineers to work towards a better future for us all. See you in space!